Hey guys, we are the Bambi TV guys. You will be reacting to one of the suggestions. This is going to be Elmer spares up with Mel Gibson to expose Hollywood creepy secrets and support Sound of Freedom. Guys, let's get straight into this. Sound of Freedom will be available on Twitter next week. A new movie came out exposing human trafficking, specifically kids. Dana White posted that he is buying tickets to everyone that works for him to go see that movie. And the weirdest thing is, is mainstream media is bashing it. Let you guys know again, it is gonna get hot. It's gonna be like that. Why is the media hate? Wait, wait, wait. When he said human trafficking and why was Andrew Tate's feature there? <laughs> no, no, no. Someone should explain it to me, like... Wait, was I dreaming? But why was Andrew Tate's picture there? Like, please, like, tell me if you see that too. Or, oh, like, tell me, why was this picture there? Like, I want to know because Andrew Tate is top G. So, what concerns Andrew Tate and... Just let me know in the comment section. Guys, let's get back into this. Hating this movie. You know, I can't understand it. The film was made, produced, written like five years, six years ago, way before anyone heard the... Elon Musk pairs up with Mel Gibson to expose Hollywood's creepy secrets and support Sound of Freedom. We have all heard of the film Sound of Freedom. It is said to be a film that exposes one of Hollywood's deepest secrets, which is child trafficking. However, contrary to what people would expect, few Hollywood stars promote it. In fact, most of them have been silent about the film, leading to a lot of suspicion. How is it that most of the so-called philanthropists are not saying anything about it? So far, the one person who has been very vocal about the film is Mel Gibson. And now, most recently, Elon Musk seems to have joined him in promoting the film. But what has Elon Musk done to support Sound of Freedom and expose one of Hollywood's creepy secrets? Let's find out, shall we? But before we continue, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing celebrity gossip. It is odd that a movie Movie with a strong theme like Sound of Freedom has not made it to cinemas. Not only that, but it has not even been featured on major streaming sites such as Netflix and Hulu. The fact that it sheds some light on the human trafficking rings going on worldwide, especially in Hollywood, is enough to have streaming services fighting for their rights. But that has not happened yet. There are speculations that this is because of the Hollywood elite, who don't want to be exposed for participating in child trafficking. But in all of Hollywood, one person has been very vocal about it, Mel Gibson. Since the day Sound of Freedom was released, Mel Gibson has been advertising it for free to the whole world. He has constantly discussed human trafficking, promoting all efforts to stop it. And so far, it seems he is the only one who has fought hard enough for the movie to be shown worldwide. They say that every choice has a consequence, and this has been seen in Mel Gibson's intention to promote the movie. He has received a lot of backlash from his Hollywood peers, who do not want to be exposed. And with his campaign, one name that popped up was Oprah Winfrey. After the movie was released, Oprah has been in the spotlight for some time now, with people claiming that her South African school is the main hub for choosing the next victims. However, the Hollywood elite is doing everything they can to stop the film from going global, but it has still gone viral. As the Hollywood elite fight the film to keep their secrets hidden, Mel Gibson might have just received support from one of the most influential people in the world. Elon Musk, currently the richest man in the world, has shown his support for the film on Twitter. Angel Studios tweeted on May 18th, announcing the film's official release in theaters. The tweet also had the official trailer for the film, which received thousands of likes. And following this tweet, Elon Musk's reply was what won the hearts of many. His tweet read, I recommend putting it on this platform for free for a brief period or just asking people to subscribe to support. We would not keep any funds. The film's distributor seemed happy about this, replying to this tweet by saying, that's an interesting idea, let's chat. With this move, it seems Elon Musk is putting his recently acquired platform to good use. According to the MRC, this move by Musk works in favor of both the film and the platform. Musk's endorsement will get the film more exposure and promote Twitter's recent move to feature more streaming video and the platform's move to paid subscriptions for additional content. Aside from this, 
It could also be the next step in the billionaire entrepreneur's plan to challenge YouTube with streaming video content. The launch of former Fox News host Tucker Carlson's new show on Twitter sometime in June serves as evidence that this plan has already begun. With Musk's tweet showing support for the film, a lot of people have also come out to show their support for fighting child trafficking. One such person is country music recording artist John Rich, who responded to Elon's offer. He said, Hey, at Elon Musk, I appreciate your acknowledgement of how vitally important this film hash sound of freedom is to the world. Another Twitter user said, I would predict the movie would gross more by opening on Twitter with subscriptions than just in theaters. More importantly, it would be seen by more people worldwide and that needs to happen. All this support came before the film was released. However, it seems that as soon as the Hollywood elite discovered that the movie would expose them, they did everything in their power to sink it. And because of this, the movie never made it to theaters, and companies like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon never really pursued it. Nobody knows why the major streaming companies would leave such a movie behind. The movie is based on the inspirational true story of Tim Ballard, who was a former U.S. government agent. He willingly quit his job and devoted his life to rescuing children from global sex traffickers. The main character is Jim Caviezel, who plays federal agent Tim Ballard. And from the film, he portrays the character quite well, showing how Tim Ballard has been working in the dark world of child crimes for 12 years and has started losing hope. However, he ends up rescuing a seven-year-old boy who had been kidnapped, along with his sister, by brutal traffickers. When the boy asks Tim to find his sister, Tim discovers his life's mission. From there on, he dedicates his life to rescuing children from sex slavery, wherever they may be. However, as we have come to learn, Mel Gibson and Tim Ballard are not the only people who are against this. When the new Twitter owner acquired the platform, he tweeted in late November that removing child exploitation is priority hash one. And under Musk's ownership, Twitter's head of safety, Ella Irwin, has confirmed that she has been moving rapidly to combat child sexual abuse material, which was apparently prevalent on the site under previous owners. And now she claims that Twitter 2.0 will be different, just as promised. A review was later done by the New York Times, and it found that the imagery, which is commonly known as child Child pornography is still persistent on the platform. This includes widely circulated material that the authorities consider the easiest to detect and eliminate. Ever since Elon Musk took over Twitter in late October, the platform has largely eliminated or lost staff who were experienced with the problem and failed to prevent the spread of abusive images. In addition, Twitter also stopped paying for some detection software that was considered key to its efforts. But even as all this was happening, people on dark web platforms still talked about how Twitter remains a platform where material can still be found easily while avoiding detection. In early December last year, an independent researcher working with Twitter interviewed Ms. Irwin and said that illegal content had been available on the platform for years. However, Ms. Irwin and others at Twitter have gone on to confirm that the efforts put in place by Mr. Musk have been paying off. In the first month after acquiring Twitter, the company had already suspended more than 300,000 accounts for violating Whoa. child sexual exploitation policies. This was 57% more than usual compared to other years. This effort was increased in January when Twitter claimed it had suspended 404,000 accounts. In a series of tweets, the company claimed that they were using a more aggressive approach and that they were also cracking down on people who search for exploitative material. With these increased efforts, they have reduced successful searches by 99% since December. In an interview, Ms. Irwin confirmed that the bulk suspensions involved accounts that dealt with the material or claim to sell or distribute it, not only those who posted it. She did not deny that there is still child sexual abuse content in the open and available on the platform, but they're working on it. Mel Gibson seems to be not the only one fighting this with everything he has. And maybe with Elon Musk's support, they might expose the Hollywood elite even more. Mel Gibson is not quiet about the movie at all exposing everything there is to sex trafficking. He has even gone on to support Tim Ballard's mission, Operation Underground Railroad, to help fight child trafficking. We can be sure that we can expect anything to happen with the Hollywood elite being exposed like that. They have already prevented the movie from getting to cinemas and major streaming services, so there's no telling what's next. Will they delete the film or will they fight everyone supporting it? We can only wait to find out. In the meantime, what is your stand on Elon Musk's support for the film? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Well, guys.
Like this is I know some people like insulting Elon Musk about Sweden. But like what he really have done is is amazing because buying four hundred thousand accounts like it's actually amazing and I feel there's no sense in people actually abusing children because it does not make sense. Like you actually it doesn't make sense to me guys. Like you actually taking children to sell drugs and do sort of things like it doesn't make sense because I feel they're children. Like so those are people that they are in the place of you molding them. If you mold them in that direction, they won't know the difference between right from wrong. They just continue in that direction. Because what you do to them, when they go and get the freedom they are looking for, like even when they grow, they are going to I feel I've like if you see movies like this when like a cartel son, he's gonna to grow to become like his father, like do things who worse than his father. And most times when maybe when the father have gotten the power, the money and the fame he's looking for, it was like, is this really worth it? But his son still wants to test it and he just continuing that circle. I feel children are people you're supposed to actually take care of, like their mindset by the way. Like you're not able to like incorporate this kind of amazing mindset, like teach them things that they will take for long, for, for the lifetime, like, like I feel in the age of 6 to like 14, 15, like if you can tell them the right things to do, like make them see reason why this is right, like show them different to right from wrong and tell them the benefit they'll get from doing the right thing, I believe like with that kind of mindset, they'll grow and become better people. Like, to avoid drugs and stuff. Because this movie is actually something that that should be promoted, if I'm being honest. Because it actually shows you this, this policeman or an agent trying to save children. Like, that's an amazing thing. And when the, when the lady said, the, the young boy said, Please save my sister. And the man said, This is, he forgot that that's it was what he wants to do. Like, it's such an amazing thing for you to actually be savior to people. Like, it's amazing. You seeing them smile after saving them. Like, I just wish, like, it's like the movie is playing in my head right now because it's gonna be amazing. You seeing people crying and telling you thank you for saving their life. Like, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to do, give your life to do. Like, if I'm being honest, it's actually beautiful. But guys, you know what you think about this movie? I think I'm going to check this movie out after this reaction. Guys, check it. I know you have to pass on, like, when we this now. But I really think I'm going to check out this movie because I believe this is something that everyone should be promoting because this... I don't know why they're trying to stop this, but like, I feel this movie should be out there. But guys, tell me what you think about the video. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.